This is a quick update on the SafeSense environmental monitor project. What I've built here is a MRF49XA uh, breakout shield. And in this Arduino stack, I have three boards. I have the Digilent uh, chip kit Uno on the bottom, and the Mani F2 FPGA shield in the middle with a mod 7 seg uh, segment sticking out of the uh, P mod connectors. And then on the top, I have the uh, wireless breakout shield with the um, pretty good size uh, monopole antenna attached to it. So what this stack is doing is uh, I'm doing our society testing right now. I'm, I'm, my goal is to walk around the house uh, and measure the uh, RF strength at uh, particular locations in the house. So the first step is to go ahead and, and uh, put together an RF, or I'm sorry, an RSSI rig. And so here we have the uh, seven day segment display uh, reporting RSSI. So uh, the first three digits here are um, the uh, ones, tens, and one hundredths, or hundreds place. We have a decimal, and so that's 0 0.8, 0 0.5. And these are uh, measured in uh, minus dBm. So that's minus 88, uh, uh, minus 85.4 uh, dBm. And of course we have uh, the SDR Sharp um, doing spectral monitoring for us. So we're going to start out here in the garage with the uh, sensor node turned off and we're going to baseline the noise floor of our transceiver and so we can see that the RSSI is somewhat uh, it's actually the noise floor varies quite a bit so that's uh, to begin with that's concerning <clears throat> uh, ten dB so that's something to be aware of. Um, so we're seeing spec, uh, noise all the way up to minus 80 uh, dBm. I expect that the uh, that there are interferers somewhere. Um, so we'll have a look at SDR Sharp and see if we can uh, locate those interferers. So next we're going to plug in our sensor node and we're going to take a reading with the two units uh, uh, located uh, relatively close together. So here we're getting up to around 64.3, minus 64.3 dBm, uh, relatively close. And we're just going to start uh, walking away. Now at uh, 915 megahertz, I would expect uh, um, some pretty healthy transmission distance. And we've already dropped about 3 dB uh, maximum. I'll provide the link budget analysis on the website so that we can compare the results. So already we're at uh, minus 72 uh, dBm. We do have a car between uh, the node and the receiver. There's definitely multipath uh, uh, involved here. Also, it's worth noting that the transmitter turns on and off uh, between each 
transmission of the test pattern as well as the uh, sensor reading so uh, that's what the uh, some of the fluctuations that you're seeing is are Okay, I'm not going to go upstairs yet because uh, already the, the readings are pretty disappointing. I mean, right off the bat, when we're this close, we're seeing a receive power you know, of, of minus 65, let's say. So that's not a very uh, far transmission distance. There is going to be near field error, although it is a uh, monopole antenna, so there's not a whole lot of error there. Um, at 915 megahertz, uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of uh, drop off from the antenna that's going to get you down to minus uh, 65 dBm. So there's a level of uh, troubleshooting that has to be done uh, here. However, this is just a, a good demonstration of, uh, of a test uh, rig that you can put together using an Arduino or uh, Arduino type variant or any kind of microcontroller breakout board uh, an FPGA breakout board and then the um, uh, the development board that you've uh, put together